This week we've been exploring how social media influences your events. Kia ora, I'm Sandra Julian, founder of Oaha, a business event agency that creates events to connect people, empower them with knowledge and influence your business outcomes. Over the last two months, this new word of social distancing has become a real normal phrase in our everyday vocab, but we've been doing anything but social distancing. We're more connected on social media than any other time in history, with over 80% of New Zealanders being connected on Facebook and YouTube. And I don't know about you, but my LinkedIn feed has been 10 times busier than ever before as my professional network continue to be connected with one another in lieu of face-to-face meetings. And you know, our event industry love nothing more than our little face-to-face wine and nibbles catch-ups. So how are you using social media to influence your events? As we return to unrestricted business events at COVID level one, there is a real opportunity to take advantage of people being socially connected more than ever. So how do you do this? Well, first of all, you have to understand what platforms or what social media channels your ideal audience is using. So is your ideal event audience using Facebook and YouTube or are they more visual so they're over on Instagram or Pinterest or maybe they just like a a good chat on Twitter, short, sharp and to the point. So where is your ideal audience hanging out? Know the platforms that you should be using and then target your messaging on those platforms. Let your brand voice be heard on your social media posts. So use language and tone that resonates with your ideal audience and is reflective of your brand. So if your ideal audience is the 20 somethings, then your language and tone is going to be really different than if your ideal audience is the 50 something age bracket. Then you wanna get really visual, get creative with your visuals. The key to social media is to stop the scroll. You know, we all get on our phones and we aimlessly scroll through social media, only stopping when something captures our attention. So make sure that your visuals are captivating. Use some video, that's, people are intrigued. I bet you've stopped to have a listen to what I've got to say today. So stopping the scroll and then in the post, in the caption part of your social media post, you want to drive traffic to your event website or your event registration page. And then you want to do the vice versa. So have over on your event website, have your social media icons driving your traffic back to your social media channels. You want to have the conversation over on social media pre the event and post the event. Social media allows us to create this FOMO factor. So, you know, as humans, we hate to miss out. So you want to create the fear of missing out on your social media channels that drives them back to your event registration page, get them registering to attend your event. So social media is really good for that. Um, So that's all I have for you today. Pretty short, sharp, sweet and to the point. But if you wanted to read our latest blog over on our website, head over to oaha.co.nz backslash stories and you'll be able to read this week's post as well as our previous post, which gives tips and tricks on making the most from your business events. All right, that's all I've got for you today. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.